that's Devon, nresounds.com, back with another Logic Pro X tutorial. I want to first apologize for my absence. Since the month of November of last year, uh, my family, we have been experiencing uh, loss of family and friends of back to back. And it's kind of where I am today. You know, I've been making a lot of more uh, emotional or sad uh, music and chord progression. That, that was my way of coping. That became my... Uh, my way of escaping dealing with things but nonetheless this is for all of you producers who don't know any music theory who don't know how to play live instruments who don't have a keyboard and you're pretty much a click producer so um if you watched any of my other previous tutorials um you know the easiest way to stay in scale or to stay in the minor scale is to just start on uh the A note. So you go A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It's all of your white keys starting from the A note. And if you see over here, I kind of put like this little, uh, I guess, template that I can easily shrink this down and I would be in scale. So as long as I have this shrunk, and minimize to where as though this uh, collapse mode is engaged I can pretty much draw my, uh, my, my, my chord progressions in and stay within key um, but another key to um, creating sad uh, chord progressions is your you, you want your instrumentation to go down and uh, and, and and that's the that's the uh, what is it the uh, I can't even think of the darn word. But you want your chord progression to go down. Um, and typically what people would do is they would draw um, their notes in and they would skip every other note. But in this case, what I did was instead of making and skipping every other note, uh, I completely broke, I, you know, I broke a little rule, uh, you know, it's for, for sound purposes. Uh, there's no right or wrong. This is just the way, what I do. Um, I took the bottom note. Um, and then I pretty much transposed it up uh, an, an, an octave. So this is what the chord progression uh, would have sounded like if I didn't do this. And that sounds good, but that wasn't the um, the sound that I was looking for. So if you listen to the chord progression, and this is the same technique that a lot of the producers uh, think it's a game. Uh, you know, uh, what's his name? Ant Chamberlain. A lot of these guys utilize the same method. Now listen to the difference. So that you're staying in key, all you're doing is, is you're drawing in your notes. And, you know, rather than layering and making this piano progression uh, using the higher notes, perhaps use a different instrument. And, you know, I'll do another video on that, but I'm not even going to talk about that right now. Uh, and if you just simply want to uh, go to a different scale, you just hold uh, Command and press A that highlights all of your notes. Then you hold Option press up and now you're transposing your notes and you're playing in a different key So something quick, something simple. Um, 
If you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications. I'm uploading beats every Tuesday, every Thursday, every Saturday. If you listen to any of the beats that I've made and you wanna know how I made that beat, leave a comment down in this uh, video and what I'll do is I'll review the comments and I'll open up that project and I'll show you exactly how I put together that piece. Um, it helps the channel out tremendously if you just give this channel, give this video a like. Um, I'd greatly appreciate it as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Um, I'm trying to be a little more consistent. I also have a few other businesses that I'm working on. Market Black, GodofApparel.com. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of spreading my, and on top of that, you know, um, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a father, I'm a husband, uh, I'm taking classes for uh, my, my diaconate classes to become a deacon. So I just have a lot on my plate right now. So I want to thank you guys for sticking out and, uh, and being patient with me. But I promise you, if you hold on, I will be releasing more uh, content and showing you guys uh, little tips and techniques that I use in, in my instrumentations. Um, another thing that I'll do, I like doing is I like, you know, so that so that the because if, if you're playing, this isn't like a natural, you know, a natural, you know, you could always transpose your notes. Just have fun with it. You know, I have a saying, if it sounds good, it is good. You have to do what sounds good and what feels good to you. What works for me may not necessarily work for you. The only thing you can do is just uh continue to practice and just by trial and error see what works see what doesn't work and then go from there there's no right or wrong answer to to, to how you approach your music you know just like uh you know your form of expression this is your expression who am i to tell you that hey that doesn't sound good if it sounds good to you take it run with it and just keep doing what you're doing gang all right done enough talking logic gang get with me peace